Hello everyone, welcome to today's video. Uh, today's video is a car boot sale haul. Uh, we've been over the caravan recently and uh, we did visit a car boot sale whilst we were there and uh, I picked up like lots and lots of um, like little bargains. Yes, I picked up lots of like bargains over there. Uh, it was really, really cheap as well, guys. Uh, it's very rare now that you can get things cheap. You know, you've got to really hunt around, haven't you? Like the charity shops aren't cheap anymore. And I think uh, probably the best place to pick up bargains is the car boot sales. Um, we don't have a lot of car boot sales around us. Yeah, we do have like a big car boot sale at Seam. And um, but I don't really get to to go to that one. Yeah, it's on a weekend, guys, and I'm often busy on a weekend. You know, with the house renovation. So uh, without any further delay, no, I, there is going to be a slight delay, guys. <laughs> um, it's, and it's just to say hello to people who hasn't been here before to the channel. You know, uh, hi, welcome. Um, my name's Elaine. The channel's a lifestyle channel. Um, I do have lots of videos, um, you know, on my channel. So if you'd like to check some out, that would be great. You know, please feel free to. And if you like the content, um, if you could like the video and if you could um, subscribe, that would be fantastic. But, right, <laughs> let's see what i bought at the car boot sale my first item guys is this this huge serving dish like serving platter it's absolutely enormous i mean that's the size of it next to me it's huge guys you can throw a turkey on there with veg around it you know at christmas time it's just really really nice it's quite deep can you see it's it's deep so it's like a deep um, kind of serving platter. It's got this lovely fruit edge. I used to have plates like this. Um, actually, they were over the caravan, the plates. Um, but it's got like a lovely fruit pattern all the way around it. And you never guess how much this was, guys. It was 50 pence. That's all I paid for this, 50 pence. So that was an absolute bargain. I think that was the cheapest thing I bought at the car boat sale. But wow, what a bargain for 50 pence. Moving on, I picked up this as well. Now, the lady said it was a plant stand, but it's actually um, a cake. I, would, I think it's like a cake, like sandwich platter, you know. So um, I've tried my like plates and bowls on here in the feet. So it's a tiered, can you see it? It's like farmhouse kitcheny or shabby cheeky, you know. And it's three teas, like you will get served high tea, you know, on one of these. Me and David has been served, you know, when we've gone for like afternoon tea on things like this. So this was only £3. I love the little red gingham ribbon and the little heart there. So £3 for that. Obviously, you just put your own plates on it. So I'm just going to pop that over there. Moving on. This is the only one, the only item like it, like seasonal item. And it's a wreath, guys. It's this big wreath. And um, I picked it up for £2. I just thought it was well worth the money for £2. The decor's not really, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad at all. But I think I will faff with it a bit. You know, but for £2, there's no way you would find this wreath form for £2. So I thought just for the wreath form alone, it was worth the money. So I picked that up and um, moving on I picked up <laughs> this I think most of you still really at this <laughs> lost socks <laughs> it's just one of their mysteries in life isn't it it's like uh, honestly I've got a stack of socks odd socks from the washing machine so it's lost socks seeking soul mates and a soul spelt in the you know shoe kind of soul not soul as in your spirit soul um but yes it's got all these like, little pegs to peg the socks on and i thought this would be nice in my utility room you know just as a bit of funny decor um so i paid a pound for that and it's huge isn't it i don't know where I, oh it was from the range i've probably looked at this in the range in the past you know um but yes a pound for that so i thought that was a little bit of a bargain Moving on, this was all from the same seller. So the things I show you now was from the same seller. Um, so that was a pound. I also, from the same seller, got this candelabra. 
and this is big isn't it and that's it there it's for three pillar candles and um, I don't like these spikes I'm gonna get rid of those you know just for safety for with Pippin being around now and um, I'm gonna get rid of those like file them off and then just stand like the pillar candles on but um, I don't know where it's from originally it doesn't have any label on it but all I paid for that was pound isn't that brilliant for a pound I think she just wanted to get off her way home you know um, it was like a fair deal as well so it wasn't like bad weather or anything but I just think she just didn't really want to be there so she's like and when I was sitting oh how much for that and she went a pound and we went, oh a pound and I was like is everything a pound she went mm. <laughs> so you know you've got to have a look haven't you so I picked this up this might go in a bathroom or I might give it a pippin when she's a bit older and it's this mirror can you see it's like a lovely like little shabby cheeky type of mirror Um, I just think it's really really nice it's it's quite sturdy it's quite heavy you know it's not like weird it's not going to be easily knocked over this was just a pound as well Um. Also from that cellar, I picked up this, <laughs> and it's a giraffe's head. Is it? No, it's a zebra. Hey, Elaine, get your animals right. I would say it's a zebra. Yeah. <laughs> and um, I thought I'm not too sure, guys, because he's not really tiki. Um, but I thought I'd try him up there. You know, when everything's like put together. Um, and yeah, he's just a like a zebra mask he's very he's tribal he is tribal and obviously tiki people are kind of tribal i don't know maybe i'm just trying to sell it too much to myself but um yeah i might be able to get away with this decor up there but he was only a pound and he's wooden you know a carved wood so i thought he was um a good little buy um if i decide i don't want him i'll just you know gift him on or whatever I'm, I'm sure somebody will give him a home <laughs> um, I picked up this one as well uh, no this is like a giraffe isn't it that's, I think that's why I said giraffe <laughs> so this is a giraffe one and again it's just a head it's for the garden you know um, they're not for indoors guys they're for outdoors in the garden both of them this was a pound that's the underside of it and again it's wood you know um, I do have some tiki carvings like this and I paid, well Emma, Emma got them for me actually when she was on holiday, I, I can't remember where she was, oh, I think she might have been in Greece um, and she picked them up from there um, and I know she paid um, a lot more than a pound for them. Uh, moving on, I picked up this, now this is for my bedroom it would also go in the living room as well but um, I, I like this, it's just like a little shelf you know where you can stand a nice little ornament on or a candle or something and it's just a rococo 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 um little shelf you know french kind of style um and that was three pound for that so i thought that was quite nice i might possibly spray it or i'm not really sure you could definitely paint it you know if you wanted to um next oh some of you still remember these i remember them i remember the is it a asp no lasp i can't remember it's what cobblers used for the shoes like put the shoes on and mend the shoes and um, my dad used to have one years ago and um and obviously he used to put um sex i don't know if that's a brand name sex in his shoes and like he just yeah I think back in them days, you you could do your own shoe repairs. You know, a lot of people did. Um, and he, he added for hammering these segs in his, the heels of his shoes. But anyway, we also had one of these that was cast iron. Or wrought iron, is it? Um, it's an iron, an old-fashioned iron. What you would put on a stove top and then iron things with. Now, I'm not going back to them days, guys. It's just totally um, decorative. I bought this for. Um, that's it there. And I bought it for outside, for in the garden. And I've, I just bought it as a paperweight or as a weight 
to wear things down you know when I'm outside and if I'm, I've got paperwork or books or anything like that you know I can wear them down so they don't blow away in the wind and I just thought it was a quirky little garden decoration as well it's something that can be left outside and you not worry about it damaging you know um so yes I picked that up that was three pound so there's that um moving on I also picked up this guys and it's a recipe oh, it's a recipe book stand now it's cast iron it's only got the one little thing here you know what keeps the pages in place when you're looking at your recipe so there is one of those missing but it could very easily be replaced with something else and um, what I do like about it is it's adjustable now I do have a recipe stand um, you know but uh, what I bought this for was and thinking like a bit well not really outside the box but um, you know we, we, we have tablets these days you know we read and we have our tablets and I just thought you know you could rest your tablet on there and you know I have it as a like a tablet holder rather than getting one of the more modern ones you know if you wanted to like after kind of old old worldy look you know or shabby chic look that would be great you know to hold your tablet on and especially like if you're in the bath you know can you picture it are you pick are you visualizing it lying in the bath you know your tablet on there watching youtube hopefully me <laughs> but um yes it's um i thought yeah that that would be really good as a tablet holder um this was only three pound it's really heavy guys i'm gonna have to put it down it's quite heavy and it you know you can you can move it which way you want it you know like it totally you can totally like alter it um but i'm probably i don't know if i'm going to keep it this color and use it like outdoors in the garden when i'm reading you know or whether to spray it because you can't obviously alter the color if you want to but i thought for three pound you know what it was worth the money sorry did i tell you that was three pound i can't remember but it was three pound right my next item is quite big guys so i'll show you that one right guys my next item was this lovely basket i just thought it was really really nice i'm not keen on the um fabric on the inside you know the the lining i'm not really keen on that which i probably will change it but that's easy to do you know and i thought it was really really pretty it's in really good condition I don't think it's ever been used. It's um, it's got the pre it's still got the label on. You know, it was five pound originally. Um, let's see, it was from Morrison's originally for five pound, and I just thought it was really really nice, and I paid a pound for it. So not bad at all. It's like quite a sturdy basket. Uh, it'll yeah, I'm really really liking that. You can keep throws in that. You know, um. There was another item that I got from the seller who was selling everything for a pound um, and that was this and it's a wrought iron loo wall stand and um, so this I think this should unscrew one side that's it don't screw so you can put your loo wall on and then quickly screw that back in it's a uh, very ornate you know it's got this scroll kind of detail here and again on the feet here as well a lovely scroll detail but on here it's got a little bath Um, i hope the camera will pick that up it's like a picture of a little bath now i'm not keen on this guys so i will be upcycling this you know um i, I don't think i can get that off but i can certainly cover over it so yes it doesn't match my bathroom in the colour that it's in at the minute this would go lovely in my main bathroom so i will be up cycling this this was only the pet a pound as well and next guys i picked up this basket as well now this is much bigger than the other one it's a, like a lovely laundry basket and um it's got like the two handles on the side here as you can see and this lining now the lining does need a good wash it's never been used though and it's still got its price on it and it was 11 99 and it was originally from Dunelm and I paid £3 for this one so I just need to take the inside out give this a quick spray with the Dettol you know the main basket part of it and um, yeah just give the cover uh, a good clean 
and then it's a lovely little laundry basket so uh yeah lovely for three pound right next guys was a couple of items that i bought from the charity shop and um, which i'll just include in with this haul you know and it's um the first item is this oh this is heavy it's a beautiful vase in this lovely cream and beige and gold colour. Isn't that really, really nice? I like pottery, you know. Um, some of you still know that I've done pottery in the past, you know, both at school and then when I went on to university, I did like just for fun. Yeah, you could do like um, an extra module to um, boost your UCAS points up. So I chose to do pottery and uh, had really good fun doing it and I just I just love pots I would love to have a pot as well I would love to be able to throw them at one things again you know it was so much fun but then this the kiln you know where do you get a cheap kiln from so expensive guys but anyway I would love to do that again um but yeah it's this um lovely vase I mean this is huge um really really nice three pound I paid for it that's the date the it. it's got this rope and it's got this other little urn hanging from it it looks very grecian doesn't it um and yeah i think you know you could put this out in the garden as well if you were careful and brought it in in the frosts you know but um i've got like this little grecian greeky kind of corner going on here and uh, i might i might just put it out, out there you know because it is urn like uh i'll see but at the back it's got you know what the potter has done can you see he's cut it and just like curled it over a bit here to give it like some extra detail Um, I'm not sure how I feel about that but in all fairness I would probably put that to the back Um, I mean it's not bad you know it is a feature but I think I'd probably just prefer it like that and once you've got like flowers in or ferns or whatever you're not going to see that so for three pound I thought it was really really good value Um. So yes, I picked that up. Sorry, I've got a dog by my feet. Do you want to move? Do you want to move? Good boy, good boy, good boy. Do you want to come up and say hello? <laughs> this is Nokio. Nokio has been poorly. We had to take him to the vet. Um, he's finished his meds. He was on a course of antibiotics, weren't you, son? Yes, you were. And he was on some um, painkiller medication because he got a urinary tract infection. But he's all better now, aren't you? Yes, yes, he's all better now. Are you going to go down? Hmm? You've said hello. <laughs> he won't go back down, you know. Come on, I'll finish this video off. Good boy. You're a good boy, you are. Right, next You know, a lot of you ask about the dogs here and there. We never see them, you know, like they're not on very much. But do you know what? They're always here. It's just they're not in the shot of the camera. You know, you can guarantee when I'm sitting here, there'll be a dog there just here on the seat. Usually Holly's on the back, one of them's on the seat. I've got a sofa just here in front of me as well. So they'll be on there just chilling or they'll be down here by my feet. You know, the, the dogs are never far away. Wherever I am, the dogs are there. They're just, they're very um people, pe uh, people person. <laughs> they're, they're very, um they just like being around people. You know, they're the, they're the type of dog that needs people. You know, they need people around them. They're not the type of dog that where you can um, just sort of leave them for a long time, like long spates of time. That You know, that um, do you know what? I would go as far to say they're very needy, you know, more so than other breeds of dogs. If you've got a Bichon or um, a Pouchon or, you know, you'll know what I mean. The Shons are just such... And, and it's they just like being around you so much. It's It's just... They're adorable dogs, they really are. But I'm biased. <laughs> if you're thinking about getting a dog, get a Bichon <laughs> or a Pouchon. Um, and they don't molt, honestly. <laughs> they are a nice dog. Got a personality to die for, honestly. And um, they're just so sweet, you know. They're, they are really gentle souls. Anyway, this, <laughs> I picked this up. How much did I pay for this? Because I, I can't remember. I think I might have been a pound. I was right, it was a pound. So yeah, it's this lovely little pot. I have no clue where I'm going to put it in it. I just thought it was really nice. It's like filigree pot. For a pound. You could put a nice flower arrangement in that, couldn't you? 
or you could have it on your dressing table in your bathroom to store things in um i think you could possibly put a hanky box in there you know one of them square hanky boxes and have it in there to make it look a bit more fancier but i thought for a pound you know what? i'm sure i'll use it somewhere down the line for something yeah so that'll go probably in the garage until you know i want it or need it for anything um would be nice you know actually if um if you were gifting somebody like a flower arrangement or whatever you could totally pour it in that you know and make it for like a friend you know so yeah hmm. Hmm. okay another thought you could fill it at christmas time with gifts you know if you were going to do see i like um for somebody using their nails like a nail person you know i'm seeing nails because i'm an ex nail technician oh you wouldn't believe it but i am <laughs> um you could put lots of like little nail products in here nail files and nail clippers and like some nail polishes and um, gel colors whatever you know and you could wrap it up nice and fancy and give that a christmas so uh, yeah it might be a good idea to start looking for things like that now you know what you can make personalized little hampers up for christmas so that's a good li like little idea for that right guys i'm just looking around in case i've missed anything out um i haven't but uh, do you know what yeah you know when we did get over to the caravan it was it was fine kind of but um we packed all of the soft furnishings like the cushions and the throws things like that would pack them in the in, in the big bags and uh unfortunately the damp had gotten to them first so when we went over they were all musty so i've had to bring everything back home everything guys so that's the cushion covers the throws all the bedding you know all of the um like mattress protectors pillar protectors the quilts even you know i can get the single quilts in my washing machine but i would double quilt i can't i'm gonna have to get that professionally cleaned but i've had to bring every every soft furnishing back um just just to clean it so honestly it is a mess i'm looking I've washed the doll because we've had some really good weather but um it's in black bin liners ready to go back over to the caravan so they're going to be lying around for a while um until I get back over there which may be in July you know we're, ho we're hoping it might be in July when we go back over there um but yes I'm going to have to put up with black bags lying around until then so uh, <laughs> that's going to be a challenge <laughs> anyway i hope you've enjoyed today's video if you have please give me a like and um if if you if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel you know um there's never any obligation but it is for free it doesn't cost anything and it does really really help my channel out so if you have been watching my my videos and you're not already subscribed um please subscribe to my channel you know just to give me a little bit of help Speaking of dogs, there you go. <laughs> Time to go. Bye-bye, guys. Bye.